now, Greg Jane, you may be wondering who has a permanent license throughout the city of Lansing. Right now, Grossbeck Golf Course is the only parks and recreation group to have a permanent liquor license. And Jane, it's unclear from Lansing Police and East Lansing what the relationship was between the shooter and the two victims. Again, in case you're just joining us, two dead. Lansing Police and East Lansing believe one man is responsible for both of those shootings. And Jane, they say over the next 24 hours, they'll work to solve this case and say information will change. So make sure you keep it right here on 6 News for the very latest. I don't know about you, but I've done this before, Shelby. I've stood out in line for the experience. Not so crazy on the deals. I'd have to imagine that. If you weren't at the anchor desk, would I see you out here? I don't know if I'd be standing outside. You said it's really cold, but if you save me, you know, if you save me a spot in line, I'd love that, Nick. Well, Shelby, I'll, I'll try to do my best. I'll go ahead and hop in line. I think I should be able to get something for you. You go ahead and throw me a list, and I'll, I'll send it back your way. And I spoke with the mayor about this vehicle, and he said maybe it could be a mayoral car, but I think this should be a, a Channel 6 car, honestly. I don't know what you guys think. A nice interior in here. I think it's a good fit. Uh, what do you guys think? We're going to go ahead and send it back to you. We're live. Nick Perot in Lansing today. But it's not too bad out here, Jane, at the 5 o'clock hour. I hope, as David said, it stops 5.20, 5.30. I'm getting a little cold. Uh, if you do go outside, it's glove and hat or headband weather as I'm wearing. But guys, snow is here in mid-Michigan and enjoy it whether you like it or not. We are live in Lansing tonight. Nick Perot, 6 News. And Nick, you and I didn't get the memo about not wearing team colors. <laughs> Well, see, Greg, that's the thing we got to tell Fred. In, in the news, I guess we can we can play favorites in the news. That's okay. And, yes, it is a very busy day for business here in East Lansing at Hopcat. But people I spoke with, they didn't want to talk about business. They had to talk about this great in-state rivalry. A home that is still in the dark. And, Nick, you spoke to that homeowner. Is he confident those lights will come back on this New Year's Eve? Well, Greg, as you might expect, doubtful at this point. That homeowner said, look, the last 10 days has been very hectic. But we spoke with Steve Sirkane from BWL a short while ago, about 10 minutes, and he told me, look, he's confident that BWL will be able to fix the power and put it back on for those 200 or so customers.